Over 15% of adult Canadians smoke. The uh, rates are somewhat lower on the West Coast, but across uh, all of Canada, the rates are, are over 15%. And um, uh, over 20% of deaths in Canada are still directly attributable to smoking. And this is the e-cigarette that we're using for our trial. E-cigarettes come in all different shapes and sizes. This one has a, a tank of liquid, as you can see. Every time you want to uh, take a puff, you press down on the button and you suck on the end. The, uh, the nice thing is that there's a, a battery inside the e-cigarette and you can charge the battery off of your computer. Traditional therapies like uh, nicotine patch, nicotine gum, Zyban, Champix, which both of which are pills for smoking cessation. And these studies all show that uh, medical therapies are, are effective for smoking cessation. They double quit rates, so they can double quit rates from 10% to 20%, but at the end of a year, 80% of people are still smoking. So the average smoker has to quit six or seven times on average before they successfully quit. And the problem with all previous uh, therapies is they either deliver nicotine by a patch or by gum or it's a, a pill form of a medication that takes care of the cravings, but they don't reproduce the ritualistic aspect of smoking. So the, the average uh, pack a day smoker in Canada, if they smoke 25 cigarettes a day, there's 10 puffs a cigarette, that's 250 repetitive episodes a day. Over the course of a year, it's almost 100,000 times that, that you take a puff from a cigarette. So an e-cigarette delivers the nicotine, but it also gives you the ritualistic aspect. So there's some uh, expectation that it may be more effective than, than something such as a, uh, a nicotine patch for smoking cessation.